Hey, I just got to do that little Nas X. What is it? Um, the rodeo? What's that? The, Take him to the rodeo. Uh, you know? <laughs> 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 Ain't no hey, more. But stay there. I'm on my way. Cause it's 12 a.m. And I see since yesterday. So what? Baby, I'm right here now. I got a show in L.A. with a sold out. What's up guys, it's your boy the Mark Anthony here today and today we got a new video for y'all at Comic Con in Austin. Yeah, um, I'm in San Antonio right now so this video is going to be dropping and yeah, just hope you enjoy this. We met Spider-Man in this and yeah guys, uh, we're going to go right to it. Alright, so today we're here with Mercury. Okay, okay, hey, that was kind of cool. The first question I'm going to ask you today, bro, is what is probably one of the, you know, biggest things that you would tell your younger self and, like, what would you want to change about yourself, basically? What would I want to change about myself? Um, so I think I would encourage my younger self to continue to find their voice oh. and to continue to define themselves outside of societal norms and expectations. Yeah, Ooh, I like that. And I think my younger self already knew that, but I would encourage them that that's the Very right way to go right and way. keep going that way even harder. Period. Ah. Mm, period. Ah, right. Yes. <laughs> And so the second question I'm gonna ask you is, what is like the biggest pet peeve you got in a person? Like, wh what kind of icks? I think that pet peeves in a person, for me, comes from people being really judgmental. And not seeing that they're being judgmental, right? Which is kind of like redundant, right? So yeah. I'm trying not to be judgmental about them being judgmental. Huh? And I think that's why it irks me, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to be open and like, oh, okay, even if someone is being judgmental, yeah. that's where they are right now and that's mm. great, right? They're not moving with that same energy. Ooh, okay. I, li I like that one. Ooh. Mm. And the last and final question I'm going to ask you is, if you have a celebrity crush, who's that crush and why? Lil Nas X. Because that's going to be my husband. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Point blank, period. Hey. It's not a crush. That's hey. my husband. Jesus Christ. Man, mine is Ryan Reynolds, so we, we in the same boat. Yeah, I got Like, I told her already, I said, Ryan Reynolds was in the room, and he's right there. I'm cheating on her with Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> I gotta... Hey, I just gotta do that little Nas X. Oh, pause. So what is it? Um, The rodeo? What's that? The, Take him to the rodeo? Uh, <laughs> yeah, nasty! You know? <laughs> 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 ain't no hey, more. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna hit the ice spice. You ain't gonna, you already yeah. know. <laughs> hey, she in the mood. I'm a munch, bro. <laughs> Today we're here with. What's going on, y'all? My name is Najee Jeter, aka Miles Morales. Or. <laughs> or. That's nah, right. <laughs> hey, if y'all know, from Grown Ups, you know you Yes, guys. yes, Grown Ups 1 and 2 Yes, Andre McKenzie And for The Last of Us fans, Sam, OG Sam OG Sam Yeah, man Yeah, <laughs> man so, <laughs> so the first question I'm going to ask you, bro, is What is probably one of your craziest experiences that you had doing, like, the films, gamings, and all that stuff Like, you know, with Chris Rock and all those guys and stuff like that Wait, did I say the right person? You are so dumb You are really dumb For real yeah, yeah, okay, you did, like, you did, I, I know. Like, <laughs> well, okay, with like on, on camera work, when, when I was working with Adam and all those guys, man, man, we would have a lot of pranks on set. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, we would prank each other a lot on set. And then um, with Miles, you know, you get to be a big kid. Yeah, yeah. So the craziest part about that, you know, sometimes I get to do my own stunts. Oh, You really? know, so yeah, I'm running and jumping and sliding. That's why he's the GOAT! And then when they need to do the flip, shout out to Jasiri Booker. That's our stunt guy. Oh, boy. And um, yeah, man, so you can just get to have fun. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, just, just working with Adam. Yeah, right. yeah, that right there is like... <laughs> That's crazy, but man. Like oh, man. Off the roof and everything, like, you're stuck and everything and breaking my back and all that stuff. So, hey, it's worth it, bro. Man, I'm Gotta telling get you, views. it's amazing. So, the second question I'm going to ask you, bro, is what is one of your, like, biggest piece of advice getting into this stuff, like, giving it to people and to me, especially for, like, YouTube and stuff like that? Yeah. What's one thing you would tell them getting into this type of thing? Man, okay, stay passionate. Stay passionate. Stay natural because everything, they want to see you be conversational, mm. you know? So, always read your stage direction. That's going to let you know your story surroundings you know who you're with and take from your own experiences too you know because I mean anybody can write a couple of words on a page but if you don't bring that to life from your own experiences it doesn't make it a full-blown scene or script so and so the the other question I want to ask you is what is your biggest pet peeve in a person like what what, what kind of bother <laughs> got him
<laughs> so you went on that? Yes! 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 I mean, I don't uh, know. <laughs> biggest pet peeve in a person. Um, they don't like read the room. Mm. Or like read the energy. You know, somebody's just like, you know, I don't know. Like that elephant super, in the room. Oh, uh, yeah. Like super over the top. Not over the top, but yeah, like, if they don't know how to read the room, that's it. He's got a point. And the last and final question I'm gonna ask you, and you know, you could be honest with me if you want to. Who is the celebrity that you've had a crush on and you would want to like be with? Ooh, and wow. if you could, why? Celebrity dun, dun, crush. Dun. <laughs> um, I mean, twelve seconds later. We got this one girl. No. <laughs> celebrity, you said that I haven't met. No, like just any celebrity in general. Like, who would you want to like crush, basically? Oh, that's a great question. For because I no, no, that's my sister. Actually, <laughs> oh. I know her. Hold up, wait a minute. Yeah, I went to school with her actually. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Um, I want to say it's so hard because I don't, I don't think I would want a celebrity. What do you mean by that? And you know what I'm saying? Because like, you know, we get crazy, bro. That's true. That busy schedule. We get crazy, man. Just yourself, best You know, <laughs> yeah. Hey, we get crazy. So I want to say just, you know, a girl that has her mind on right. She's focused on what she wants in life. You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about! Me personally, it'd be Ryan Reynolds. I ain't getting bro. You see? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Get out of here, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for being All right, so for today we're here with? Jordan For Real. Just Mike. The first question I'm going to ask you is, what does a female got to do to impress you, bro? Mm. What she got to do to impress me? I feel like she just got to have that energy for real. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like, she got to come at me and not like, like, you know how sometimes they can be dry? You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Like, she got to just have, like, positive energy and, like, just, just come out and be real. Like, just be real. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, like shit. a vibe, pretty yeah. much. What about you, bro? I feel like she gotta respect me for just for just who I am. Like, he's got a point. You know what I'm saying? Cause I I already do that to her. Like, be real, right? Yeah, like be real with me. Yeah, type shit. Exactly. Like keep that energy. Oh shit, like. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had that back then. Emotional damage. I mean, That's what she said. Hey, you got, got now y'all got that same energy though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. hey, the second question I'm gonna ask you, bro, is what the what does it got to how do you write this? How do you say it? What does a female got to do to like make you want to cheat on her? Like, what Maybe what is one thing? I don't know, bro. Cause me personally, I just don't want to cheat. Like, I'm not the like. You know what I'm saying? Unless she like she like cheat on me, it's like I'm not finna. You know what I'm saying, yeah, bro? Yeah, yeah. Hey, the second she cheats on me, I'm like, cutting her off. Period. You know, as exactly simple as that. Like, Simple as that. There's nothing she could do. I would just end it, really. Like, That's true. Type. I mean, like me, I'd be like, Pipe prepared. What? You know who that is. Like, if it was that scene, I mean, shit. Yeah, yeah I, I know what you mean. I want to know who, like, yeah. who she with, right? No, I just want to be the, I want to be the picture where the four oh, guys were behind <laughs> me. You naughty, naughty. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's crazy. All right, no, this no, interview no. over. <clears throat> <laughs> so the last last question I'm gonna ask you, bro, is if you were to be like to date a celebrity and be with the celebrity, who would you want to be Zendaya. with? Zendaya. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Zendaya. Damn. Maybe maybe Rihanna. <laughs> yeah, boy. I don't know. I mean, I got two. It's Megan Fox and Ryan Reynolds. I mean, that, that's. I just mean, and SZA, SZA and Zendaya, man. Shit, yeah, man. I mean, Ryan Reynolds, you gotta you gotta respect though. Bro. I mean, I mean, let's be fair, bro. <laughs> hey, I already told her, and I told her before. I said Ryan Reynolds came up to me. I'm sorry, but I got. Both with it. Yeah, I got both with it, man. I mean. <laughs> Gay. I mean, I'll have a laugh with him, but no more than that, gang. Today we're here with? Ruben Kane. So, what is one of the worst shoes in the sneaker game right now, bro? Phone posits. Ooh. I gotta give it to them. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just don't like the look of it, really. Like, Yeah, like, I just can't rock them. I can't look at them. Like, personally, but... That's hey, that's, me. That's true. What about like the red boots? How you feel about those? The door explorers. Yeah. <laughs> the door explorers. <laughs> <laughs> talking about it when she's yeah, right, right there. That's the thing. <laughs> I feel like some people can rock them, but it's rare. It's rare. It's, it's rare. That's and true. for the price of them, they're not worth it. They're not worth it. Yeah, like, no, I don't blame you. Price, it's right. ass right. Yeah. <laughs> and for you, bro? Shit, I'm not really a sneakerhead. Stop the cap. But I mean, I don't like uh, like the if it's not like you know like the regular like Jordan one, two, three, four, like like mm. the, like like the like the, uh, the all brand ones like the like the Lights and all those yeah, other yeah, shit, yeah. like I don't like that shit. 
Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Ooh, damn, that's kind of that's a broad perspective right there, bro. What about the um, what's it called? The pandas. How you feel about the pandas? I mean, the they're dunks? cool. Yeah, the dunks. I mean, they're cool, but just just too overused. Yeah, they're, oh, they're basic. They're now. Now. They look now. nice. Don't don't get me wrong. They're yeah, nice, they but they're, they're overused. Just too basic. Yeah, they're yeah too everybody basic. has them now. So the second question I'm gonna ask you, bro, is what is one of the biggest pet peeves you have in a person? When they when they when they like when they whenever they chew with their mouth open, like like just smacking mm -hmm. and everything like that. Or, or like whenever they interrupt you when you when you're talking to them. Pause. Ooh, I say when they, when you're trying to talk to them and they make it about themselves. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Like, so like center, you're baby. not yeah you're not listening to me you're just making it about you type shit. He's got a point. So the last and final question I'm gonna ask you, bro, is well, it's a two-part question. So the first part of the question is, what does a female have to do to impress you? Damn, I'm gonna let you answer that one. Wait, I gotta pee. <laughs> yeah, like, just someone who takes care of themselves and who's like, you know, about their shit, you know? Oh. Someone who's like, who's like on top of everything that they're doing, you know? Like, like a, a smart girl, like, that's what, that's what I live for the most. That's what I'm talking about! Damn. Ooh, you basically what? summed it up. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, they kind of looks and everything like that, but you, like, you want a girl who's, like, who's about their shit and who's, who's on top of their shit, like, she's like, thinking of the future. Like, Ooh, she's thinking of the future. Yeah, like, not, she, not self centered or anything. She's just thinking about us, basically. Oh, boy. Yeah. Between us two, communication is also a key. I wish I had that, but I, okay, wait, wait, that's not. <laughs> babe, hold on, hold on, hear me out, babe, hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, an it's an interview. 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 Yeah, I mean, good look, good look at home. Yeah. <laughs> And so the second and last question is, what does it, what will it take for you to cheat on a female? Did she cheat on me? Okay. Yeah, basically, if she cheat on me, now, I'm, I'm gonna cheat back. Whoa, 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 whoa. But well, other than that, now nah, you gotta be low to your female no matter what. Like even if y'all argue a lot, or, like it's going to hunter. I mean, it's your girl. You gotta stay. You gotta stay with. It. I mean, if you're not, if you're not fucking with her, then just like cut her off. Like yeah, don't, don't, don't do it. Just don't do it dirty like that. Hallelujah. Yeah. Wasting time for you and her. There's yeah. no reason to keep going. How about that one? <laughs> Emotional damage. But me, if if I had to cheat, it'd be with like Piper Perry, if you know who that is. <laughs> Got him. Man, if they came up to me and they said, you know, you you gotta run it. And the way she's looking at you, like, hey, you better watch out. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Hey, she she knows this. She knows this. She already knows. Like I told her. Ryan Reynolds. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool, 100 percent I mean it makes sense. Oh, boy. It, it makes sense. Like, you're <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so today we're here with Queen Kwan. So the first question I'm gonna ask you today is what is probably one of the your favorite things that you have done doing this type of you know profession and everything? What profession? No, like profession, like doing this stuff, like what do you like doing about it? Like burlesque? Yeah, like what do you like about it? Everything. Where I get to be as creative as I want, I get to do anything I want. It brought me to Austin. That's why we're having this conversation. Period. Up. Um, I don't think everybody should do it, but it's I do it and I do it well. Nice. You think I should do it and look like Ice Spice? Ice Spice. <laughs> mm, maybe not Ice Spice. You could be like I don't know, Nice Spice. You're kidding, right? <laughs> <laughs> or short spice? Short spice. We can do short spice. Hey, I got pumpkin spice. I told my mom I'm trying to get into stuff like this. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to shake some ass. For what did he say? Hey! You you're trying to shake some ass? I'm trying to shake some ass. I don't know. It's a lot of training. Are you ready to do like a split? Girl, man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm like, you know, Ice Spice and, and Cardi B together. Neither of them really dance. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But the twerking there. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. You can do that. I'll go with Beyonce. We'll go. We'll go with that. Beyonce, backup dancers. Yeah. yeah I'm finna. I'm gonna break right. my back real quick. There you go. <laughs> the next question I'm gonna ask you is, what is one of your biggest pet peeves in a person? In a person? Um, I don't know. Bad comedic timing. Pause. If you can't tell a joke, that's really bad. It's really bad. So like dark humor at the wrong time. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's true. And so the last and final question I'm gonna tell you, ask you is, what is one of the biggest things that you wish you could tell your younger self, you know, when you're young? I wish I could tell my younger self to just do it. What do you mean by that? Just, just do it. Just be weird. Just be weird. Just be weird. That's like Austin's saying, just be weird, right? Yeah. I mean, if I would have been weird sooner, I don't know where I would be. It'd be much, much, much farther. All right, so today we're here with Rob Denblaker. So first question is, what was your inspiration to like getting into this type of, uh, you know, comics and all this type of stuff? I grew up on the far side, Calvin and Hobbes, all these amazing newspaper comics. And I always knew I wanted to do that when I grew up. And then uh, but those guys didn't have the Internet and I did. Damn. 
So I was able to do way more messed up stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have an editor or anything. <laughs> so. hey, that's a good thing. Yeah. My second question to you is what is probably one of the craziest things you've ever drew, drew for like, you know, for a fan and like TV wise? I, we draw based on requests. So we have drawn some insane stuff. Um, things I can't even talk about. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah they're that, that extensive. But we, I mean, we like to push the boundaries, but also yeah. we make things that we think are funny. We never go out trying to offend anybody. We just happen to be offensive people. <laughs> So we make whatever we feel like. For sure, man. I like that. And the, la <laughs> and the last and final question is, what is one thing you would tell me as a piece of advice get into social media, like doing interviews and all that stuff for YouTube? Uh, just be consistent and be true to yourself. Oh. Don't, yeah, make stuff that's, that speaks to you, you know? Don't pander to anyone else. Just do what's real. For sure. So like jumping off the roof or jumping on a soccer field, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> oh, say <shit>, less. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today we're here with... Hey, I'm Brandon Watson. This is F Your Liver, my local Texas-made drinking card game. So the first question I'm going to ask you is, what is one of your biggest pet peeves you got in a person? You know what? I just can't stand, like, one-uppers. <laughs> it's like, you talk to somebody, you tell them you did something cool, they did it, like, way better than you did, yeah. way before you did, ten times better. I, I, don't, I don't like those type of people because it's just like, why are you trying to bring me down type, no, and try to, like, make yourself better, you know? No, not, not, not a fan. Right. Not a fan. Right, the second question I'm going to ask you, bro, is, what is one thing you would tell people getting into this, you know, business, trying to create their own business stuff, what would you tell them? I say you got to believe in yourself, you got to always be 100%. It took me a long time to, like, actually put everything together and do it and implement it, and I, that's wasted time. You, yeah. you need to focus on you. I stayed at a job for years I didn't like, and I got a better job because I said, you know what, I'm better than this, I'm not happy, and I'm not, I'm never going to put myself in that situation again. So you, you always got to put yourself first. Sure. You want to stay happy. The last and final question I'm going to ask you is, if there was one celebrity you have a crush on you would want to be with, who is that one person you want to be with? Well, I'm and married. Why? I'm married. Oh. <laughs> got him. Okay, exclude that one. Do you want me to skip that no, question? No, no, I, I, got a, I got an answer. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! I, so before I came to this, I tried to trick my wife into getting a hall pass. And what did he say? <laughs> I was like, hey, wh who, who do you think? She said, okay, she said, fine, Itris Alba. I'm like, Itris Alba? But she's like, who do you want? I'm like, uh, Topanga. And she's like, is Topanga going to be at GalaxyCon? I'm like, yeah, she is. <laughs> yeah, boy. I already met her. I got a picture. She's hey, awesome. It's got to be worth it. I, I mean, had to shoot my shot. Hey, had to, had to. Like me, I told her already. I said, if Ryan Reynolds came in the picture, I'm going to have to go for Ryan Reynolds. Ooh. <laughs> you naughty, naughty. <laughs> okay, I got you. I got you. She said, why? I said, it's just Ryan Reynolds. I don't think there's any questions. I understand. I'm with you. I feel the same way about Topanga. Nice. See, now we're on the same mindset. We're on the same page. Well, Topanga and Ryan Reynolds. Right, right, right. They both walk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and hey, make sure you subscribe. And so, yeah, guys, uh, if you want to leave some questions y'all want me to ask in future videos, I hope y'all enjoyed it. And yeah, thanks. Shout out to GalaxyCon. Thanks for having us. Austin, Texas. Thunder.